told myself when I left my house that I would not paint for a long time. But I'm sitting here in the toy hauler garage and I can't stand it. So guess what? I'm going to paint it today. I just put primer in the bathroom, but it already looks so much bigger in such a tiny room. Like, I'm not sure why they choose yellow cream in RVs. I don't know. So I got the bathroom prime today. Um, some of that I didn't get behind the washer and dryer back here yet, but uh, it took a long time to get just that because there's a lot of like little things to tape and stuff, but I think it's already going to look so much better. Like I'm already so much happier with this and I'm not even like done with real paint yet. So yeah, it's just, I think that's part of being a human is you start to take things and want to make it your own. And that's what we're doing if we're going to spend a lot of time in here. These lights are aggressive. So you grab them and you pull them down like that. And they have like a spring. And I was trying to remove it to be able to get the primer and stuff around it. And it snapped off really, really hard. And it cut my thumb. Day two of painting. You don't realize how yellow the ceiling is until you put white right next to it. And then with the yellow lights, it's like yellow and yellow and yellow. So when you see like the white next to the yellow, it's like, holy cow, it looks so dark. Jared's upset with me right now because I asked him to help me do some upgrades. Aren't you? Not talking to you. <laughs> He's mad at me because it's a pain in the butt. Put all these screws in, but it's going to make that bathroom look so nice. Thank you, babe. I love you. Love you. You can really see the difference in what was here to the white walls that I just did. Um, we decided to take the cabinet out. Well, Jared decided to take Gavin out because it would be easier to put the backsplash wallpaper that I wanted in there. But I don't know who was like, you know what would look good in an RV? That. It's dark, it's yellow, beige. It makes everything feel small. I'm sure it's for like clean purpose, like trying to keep things clean, but it's ugly. So my project that Jared's working on is starting to come together. Yay. Uh, we, let's see, where did they go? Hold on, let me back up. So he's in there getting those applied. Um, I got this liner. It's like a, uh, easy liner, like adhesive print liner. Um, that, there it is, that little, brand there at Walmart for pretty cheap and they had a bunch of different colors and designs so I wanted it in this back bathroom as like a little accent piece and I think that's gonna make it really bright and pretty it's all done I love the little accent there isn't that pretty and like I said for it was like five or six bucks for the that whole roll of stuff but it makes a big difference if you're just trying to update your small space into like a brighter area. I'm very happy with it. And I've got these cute little, technically they are um, fruit baskets, but here I'll zoom out a little. Um, I decided to use them in the ba in this bathroom space for like hand towels and things like that. And they're, and they're cute. So it's a nice little add to the area.